morning and welcome to Mam Talks. I'm Kathy. I'm Anna. And I'm Jan. And today we are embracing getting older by discussing a topic that a friend of mine actually sent to us. Uh, her name is Mary. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. And um, she wanted us to discuss, um, well, we titled it Victoria's Secret versus JCPenney. Really? And we mean no disrespect mm -hmm. to either of them. But yes, really. I think it's a good topic because... It's an interesting topic. Yes. Well, it is. And but what do we mean by that? Well, I, I kind of get caught between... Like, you go into Victoria's Secrets, and the stuff is beautiful. I mean, there's some beautiful stuff in there. And yes. Some stuff I wouldn't wear, but kind of everyday stuff. But the prices are really, really high. Yes, they are. And then you go into JCPenney for the same kind of lingerie, whatever that is for you. And the prices are really, really reasonable. Mm -hmm. But there's just something about it saying Victoria's Secret that draws people mm -hmm. in. It does me sometimes. It sucks me See, in. See, that's not what I thought of when we thought of Victoria's Secret. I thought, like, in this stage of my life, am I going to wear all that frou-frou, you know, wired... <laughs> uncomfortable <laughs> but looks great you know and makes you feel good that you have that secret underneath your clothes but they have other stuff it's not all I mean they have some stuff that's yeah their like, pajamas are great or, or they have that brand uh, pink right which now they have a, a whole separate store a separate store but they have stuff that's just your basic kind of undergarments that's not what you think of when you think of Victoria's Secret no, no you, but I'm saying if you're you going think of Victoria's Secret you think of Victoria's Secret their models fashion show yes mm -hmm. which is oh all oh my gosh some of those stuff. things are so beautiful they're this, so freaking uncomfortable right but it doesn't again I mean I think some people just go in for something that's that's simple but they like the brand names but they want the simple well, and you can get that but you can also again I mean, I think people have this mentality, and I am not dissing JCPenney by any means, but I just think that you can go in there and get reasonable, pretty things as well. But still, it's just that you could probably, you know, we should do, we should do an analysis. Oh, we should buy something at um, Victoria's Secret, and then we should go to JCPenney and try and find almost an identical item. And I'll bet you we could do it. But it's still, I, you Here's know my what? Thing. I don't buy from either place. I'm at a stage in my life where all I want is comfort. But you can get comfort at either place. No, not as comfortable. But you don't walk I in. Do. <laughs> you don't walk into Victoria's Secrets and it's just like, oh, that stuff is so pretty and some of it's just so. I don't even cute. go to Victoria's Secret anymore. Do you ever go in? I do when I'm buying something for my daughter. <laughs> well, there's me again. <laughs> I Ms. buy Junior. stuff for my daughter. I, I well, and I don't. I give her a gift certificate because my daughter goes, and frankly, what she buys, I think, is the pajamas. Well, and the pajamas are adorable, and I they get those are, every year, and they last forever. The yes. quality is yes, good. Yes, they yes, do yes. last forever. They don't shrink up and and all that. The warm ones, but you can get cute stuff anywhere. You but can I, get just as nice at J.C. Penney's, and and years other places. and years and years, that's the only place I bought underwear at and it was lovely and it was beautiful and it lasted and it was a reasonable price but even that is uncomfortable now <sighs> but there's there's still some fun spicier stuff at Victoria's Secrets I don't know I just remember <laughs> when I first got married God, you guys <laughs> all my family and friends gave me all this foo-foo little nightgowns and baby dolls and all this and I remember one time my husband looked at me and said don't take this the wrong way, but I just like t-shirts. <laughs> and I thought, well, you get cute t-shirts yeah. there. <laughs> well, but you can get cute t-shirts at Macy's. I know, and or... I'm not saying I don't get those, but I'm saying they're still, because we're, we're talking Victoria's Secret, oh. so. I can't talk about Macy's then. Well, you can. Okay. And we're not dissing Macy's. We're not dissing people who, you know, don't like the Victoria's Secret thing or don't like it, whatever. It's just that there's still just something about that store that just is fun and stuff is just pretty and some of the stuff that I wish so I could wear and I words, can't. So in other words, the marketing worked for Kathy. Yes, the marketing yes. worked. Marketing totally <laughs> works for me. I am so <laughs> stupid when it comes to marketing. Yeah, pretty and works. shiny. Oh, and that's why people go to Victoria's Secret because right. it gives them that sense of risque, should I say? 
um, in their private life, and I think that's wonderful. I think that's great. I shop, I'm just not there anymore. I shop at Price. I'm one of those people that even when I go to a restaurant, <laughs> I'm looking at the right hand column before I just slip. what's on the right hand column. The, the price. price. Oh, <laughs> you're not looking oh, at the calories. Oh dear lord. <laughs> Oh, dear Lord. Well, there's <laughs> calories on the right side, too. They have all those, which really ticks me off. It's like, I don't need to know that that tiny little whatever is a thousand calories. Yeah. Not that I care, Half but it's your like, intake. whatever. Okay, back to Victoria's Secrets. Oh, yes. I have something to say. And of course you what, do. What was I going <laughs> to <laughs> What was I going to say? I'm embracing getting older by losing my memory. I was going to say, you <laughs> remember? <laughs> Well, we're talking about so many things. Oh, I also am, am cognizant of walking in and Ooh, seeing. I used a big word. word. <laughs> of walking in and seeing something going, boy, I sure wish I could get away with that. So I know my limitations is what I'm saying. I know that I, I would look ridiculous in some of that stuff. Gosh, I look at a regular bathing suit and I say, <laughs> wow, I wish I could get away with that. Well, then in the catalog, you can get all sorts of stuff, shoes and mm -hmm. pants, and but I don't, I'm not good at catalog shopping. I need to try stuff. Oh, it, online shopping is the best. It is, but Victoria's Secret stuff. Anyway, so where are you embracing getting older? Victoria's Secret? JCPenney? I don't know. Online. Macy's? Online? Online. Yeah. Okay. Well, Look at the Genie products. Comfortable. <laughs> Every color under the sun. Love it. <laughs> On that note, friends, have a wonderful day. Don't forget to click the share and like buttons and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to That's what our I was... YouTube videos. Oh, she took That's it away. That's what I was oh. going to say. Oh, don't. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, never mind. We'll say it anyway. Oh, oh subscribe to Mam Talks on YouTube and? and on our website, which is www.mamtalks.com. <laughs> And because in my head, I've got all these thoughts. Wait, wait, wait. Our, Don't our... forget, if you subscribe to our website, you get a free prize. Yay. And, yeah. and our podcast That's right. on iTunes. We're so cool now. You just go to iTunes and search up Mam Talks and you'll see them. We're posting them That's every right. Thursday. Yay. And they're so much fun. They're so much fun. Because we're so much fun. And don't forget <laughs> to keep embracing getting older. Bye. Bye.